A bisque. What is a bisque? I've eaten it a hundred times and I have actually no idea what a bisque is. It sounds very difficult. It sounds very French, obviously. All, all of what goes into a bisque, is it really that hard? No, actually to classify it from a soup to a bisque, it's either seafood pureed or vegetable puree with cream. That's gonna separate it from a soup to a bisque. Those two key, key things, vegetable puree, uh, seafood puree, cream, boom, done. There's a theme on this show, folks. Butter and cream. And cream. Wonderful. What we got here is I got my onions chopped up. We've got some butter, once again, and, <laughs> and our artichokes. These nice are job. artichokes just in water. You can buy them in most grocery stores. You go into a Sam's Club, they sell them in the perfect size. They sell a two pound can, perfect. And then you've got your heavy cream. Over on the end, we've got a little Gruyere cheese. That's what we're gonna finish this soup with. Beautiful with this artichoke bisque. Okay, so going back to it, we're gonna chop up our butter just a little bit. I've got my pan warming up. We're gonna get this in, pan might be a little hot, and it is. But we're gonna go right in with our onions too. Get that in there, it's gonna cool my pan down. Stop the butter from burning. Give it a nice saute. Keep it rolling around that a little bit. Now we can let that go. Now Chef, I, I noticed you cut your butter, and I see that in a lot of cooking shows. Why, are, why is cutting butter so popular? It's gonna melt quicker. Many more pieces, melts quicker. More service area. Yeah, because yeah. Hmm. if I threw this chunk, one whole chunk versus three little ones, the three little ones are gonna melt a lot quicker. Now I'm hoping at some point we get to figure out why I'm holding this. That is our hand blender. <laughs> and that's the industrial hand blender. We use that here at the restaurant. You can do this some damage here, with this. This is your typical home size. I am so excited to hold this. <laughs> Chef, please, when do we get the blend? No, you don't. Stop. No. You could hurt yourself with that. All right, we're gonna turn, turn this around a little bit more. Butter's almost melted. The onions are starting to caramelize just a little bit. They're get translucent caramelized because we had it pretty hot. Did we get, whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> Is that hot? No. Bring it, spoon boy. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go in. This is a really simple thing. Get your onions working up a little bit. Now we're gonna go in with our artichokes. So we're just gonna take all the artichokes right over, water and all. You want that water, because it's gonna help with the consistency of the soup. We'll get those in. We're gonna give a little stir. Now we'll go right in with the cream too. Get all these, get all your ingredients right in there. We'll hold back on the, the Gruyere cheese because that's a finishing product for this. And now what we're gonna do is just let this simmer, cook down for 25 minutes or so, 25 minutes to 30, and then we're gonna come through and start blending. Back to our bisque. Maybe in a minute, Trey. Well, now we've let this we've let this simmer. Come to a nice little boil, turn it down, let it simmer for a good 20, 25 minutes. Now we're coming to the part where you're gonna have some fun, Trey. Excellent. Yes. We're gonna let you blend it. Let's do it. But, sorry to rain on your parade. This is the style, this is the size that you get to play with, unfortunately. What is the point of even bringing something like this out other than to tease me? It's like showing a kid candy and pulling it away. Didn't your mother ever do that to you? Yeah. There you go. That's what I just did to you. There you are, sir. Why do we have to review those okay. moments in my life right now? Because there, there are very important moments in your life. I don't think that's the one you want. Maybe there you got one over here. Okay. I would suggest starting out a little slow. See where it's gonna go, because it might throw it all put over. Put it in you. first? Put it in, put it all the way down to the bottom. Yep. We can go ahead and pick it up, bounce it around a little bit. Okay, it seems to be coming together pretty well, Trig. Keep bouncing around. Yeah, give it a little bit more. All right, you know what? Now that we seem to get it there, you know what, I'm gonna make your day. Why don't you go ahead and set that little guy in here, and now you get to play with the big one. <laughs> you were just teasing me. Yes, I was. <laughs> but tell you what we're gonna do, take it on slow. 
Oh, you don't, don't just leave it right in there. I didn't say do that, did I? Yes. No. Let's go I to the tape. I said put the burr mixer in the bowl so you didn't create a big mess. It would have been better to put in there. Oh. So I get to mix it in the pot. Yes. With the bad boy. Say hello to my little Look at that. Now you're getting somewhere. It does all the work for you. And it does. Lift it up a little bit, make sure you're getting up. Go. All right, easy, easy. <laughs> this is cooking. This is blending. Sorry to say it, but that's actually blending, Trey. You literally are a rain cloud. You're Keep a rain going. cloud on, on my on. fun. Keep going. You gotta let it let up a little more. You know what we're gonna do? Leave it. Keep going. Now you're on high. Keep it down in there. In there. Take you for a ride. <laughs> Very nice. This thing Very is amazing. All right. Now what we're going to do, now that we've got it all nice and blended up, I have, please set it down. That's a very expensive piece of equipment. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take another pot. Take your china cap. It's called china cap. Very, it's not real fine. There's a chinois, very mesh. It's called china cap, a little bigger holes. What we're going to do, we want to strain. If you looked at that, there's a lot of... Uh, stringiness, because the artichokes have strings in them. Just kind of let that go through. Actually, Trick, could you step in the back and grab a, a ladle for me, please? Yes, Chef. Mm. Well, that's a spoon, not a ladle, but it'll work. Basically, what we're trying to do is just kind of push it through. We want to pull a little bit of the pulp out. Really? <laughs> For real? Ladle. Ladle. The one on the other side with the little There you go. Some people. Personal space. Some people's kids don't know what to do with them. Now what we're going to do, Ladle's going to help us push this through. You can see down at the bottom, it's just kind of coming through. I'm gonna get Trig all a little bit on him. Admit it. Cooking is fun. Cooking is fun, Trig. It's actually a lot of fun. Basically, our bisque is done right now, except for our one final ingredient. We've got some shredded Gruyere cheese. Gruyere, real, it's a Swiss cheese. A little more pungent, great flavor. We're gonna take that, add that into it. Just blend that in. It's gonna melt right into it. You'll never know. You'll never see it there, but you'll get the flavor of it. It's a beautiful thing. Be careful. You don't want to let that bad boy go. Now that's good stuff. And if you guys want to experience this bisque, but with some blue crab, this weekend only, exclusive to Savage Kitchen viewers, come in the dining room and use the code phrase blue crab. Again, Blue crab. You want some more of this, Chef? I'm all good. You've just tainted it. That's fine. It's mine. It is yours now. <laughs>